In this video we're going to have a look at collecting like terms and solving equations. In algebra, like terms contain exactly the same pronumerals and exponents. The coefficients can be different. For example, 2a and negative 4a are like terms because they both contain the pronumeral a. x squared and 3x squared are like terms because they both contain the pronumeral and exponent x squared. And xy and yx are also considered like terms because the order of the pronumerals doesn't matter. However, 5a and 5b are considered not like terms because their pronumerals are different. Similarly, 2a squared b and negative 3ab squared are considered not like terms because a squared and a are not like because the exponents are different and b and b squared are not like because the exponents are different. And lastly, x squared y and x squared y z are not considered like terms because the first term does not contain z. Like terms can be added and subtracted. Here, a and 2a are like terms and 3 and negative 1 are like terms. We could combine the like terms so a plus 2a equals 3a and 3 minus 1 equals 2 and we're adding 2 there. In our last example 2x squared and 3x squared are like terms and x and negative 5x are like terms and the 7 does not have another like term. Here we'll combine the like terms 2x squared and 3x squared to get 5x squared. x minus 5x is negative 4x and we still have the plus 7. Like terms should be collected when solving equations. Here we have like terms on the left hand side and the right hand side either side of the equation. I'm going to first subtract 2x to remove this like term from the left hand side leaving x and subtract 2x from the right hand side leaving 3x. Now we just go through and solve our equation as we would any normal equation, two-step equation, the inverse of plus 1 is minus 1. I'll just flip the equation here as well taking away 1 from each side of the equation and then dividing by 3 x equals 2 third. Of course we would also check and make sure the left hand side equals the right hand side. Here we've got brackets and I can see that we're going to end up with like terms. First of all I'm going to expand the brackets using the distributive law. 4 times 3 is 12 minus 8x plus 6x equals 18 and now we can combine because we have the like terms negative x, 8x sorry, and plus 6x. 12 take away 8x plus 6x is 12 take away 2x. And now we can go through and solve as a normal two-step equation. I'm going to um, subtract 12 from each side and divide by negative 2 and I get the final solution as negative 3 and of course I would go and substitute in and make sure the left hand side equals the right hand side. Lastly, again I have uh, brackets. Whenever we see brackets in solving equations we should expand them. So I'm going to expand both sets of equations using the distributive law. 2 times 3x, 6x minus 4 and negative 4 times x minus 4x and negative 4 times 1 and now I'm going to combine the like terms. I have two sets here. I have the 6x and the negative 4x and the negative 4 and the negative 4. 6x take away 4x I have 2x and negative 4 taking away another 4 I have negative 8. And now we can just go through and work through backtracking doing the inverse operation going to plus 8 to both sides and divide by 2 and we get our final solution. Again we should substitute it back into our equation to make sure that is the correct solution. And that is collecting like terms and solving equations.